Hello guys. Almost forgot to do this again. This is Sunday night. I'm not putting it up now. This will not go up until after my mom receives this because this is her Mother's Day gift. Yes, I'm late because today is Mother's Day. I'm always late with her gift. I can't help it. I cannot think ahead enough of time, you know, of what to get her or what to make her to get it done in time for her to get it on time for Mother's Day. So, hey, it always gives her something to look forward to after the fact. That's what I always say. Okay, so today is Mother's Day, Sunday, May the 14th, 2017. It is 10.58 p.m. right now at night. Okay, I'm going to show you what I made my mom for Mother's Day. It's not much, and I am not very good at it. But this time, I wanted to make her a little something that I knew she would use and like. Okay, first off, I'm using this brown, whatever kind of bag you call that. Okay, my mother loves to read books. She loves to read her Bible. She loves to work in puzzle books. And when you do those things, what do you need to use? You need to use bookmarks. So, I made her quite a lot of bookmarks. And uh, like I said, they're not the best. I'm not the best at this, but I did my best. So here we go. Okay. So here is one. And I used paper that looked, that had house or that had buildings on it. So I put a bird at the top like it's either sitting on a rooftop or flying in the sky over the houses. So there's that, and then it's just plain on the back side. Uh, up close. Okay. And I am putting them all in this bag to send to her, and I'm going to put the bag in an envelope. Yikes, I hope that fits. Okay. And I made this one. So it's yellow cardstock, and then you see the the plaid yellow and white paper and then I have those green flowers but then on the top one I had that so I put that on it okay the back is plain All right, putting it in the bag now this one when I first seen this one I automatically because I just glanced at it this paper is what I'm talking about. And I tried to do these in my mom's favorite colors. My mom's favorite colors is green, red, and yellow. Together. She likes those three colors together. She thinks it's so pretty. But my mom does crossword puzzles. And when I seen this particular paper, that's what, you know, I just glanced at it. That's automatically what I thought of. So I said, hey, I want to use that one to make her a bookmark with. But then Katie got to looking at it. And Elizabeth also said it, but, and then once they said it, I looked at it, and sure enough, it's not really crossword, it's the hopscotch game. But oh well, um, anyway, I used it. Um, so then I put a, I had a little wood veneer, it has numbers on it, and the hopscotch has numbers on it. So, just to match number and number, this is how I matched up, you know. So, I put a clock on the top of it. So, there's the clock. And there's the little hopscotch paper. And then the green cardstock back. And it's plain on the back. Okay. Then I did this one. I had some blue jean paper. And I put a man and a lady wood veneer at the top of it with a light blue cardstock background. And then I made her one out of duct tape. So I made her a duct tape a bookmark, but then I edged it out all the way around in washi tape. So it is duct tape 
and washi tape and the light down came on. So the middle part is the whole duct tape part and I did the same on the back. And then I used, it's also pa a paisley washi tape that I trimmed around it, but y'all can see. And no, it's probably not perfectly even cut and straight and all of that. So there you go. There's that one. And then I made her one out of hot glue. Yep. I seen the video. And so I used my hot glue gun. And I had to get a bowl that had a long rectangle dent in, in the bowl or the lid or whichever one it was I used. And I just filled it up with hot glue and I let it sit and dry. But before it dried, I filled it up with hot glue and then I had some gold and green glitter and I sprinkled that in there and then I let it dry. And it's definitely not straight. I tried to trim it up and make it look real good and straight. And then I trimmed it around with some green washi tape. And then I glued the love. I had that little love thing. So I glued that at the top. And I did because the glue itself was so flimsy. So I put some cardstock behind it. And it's a yellow cardstock. And then there's the... So there's that one. Okay, so I have some colored popsicle sticks, and I used one of those. And I used a yellow piece of cardstock. I, the popsicle stick I got is green. Yellow cardstock, and then I also, I've got those long, it's the Mod Podge glue sticks that you use in your glue gun, and they're colored. So I did a red one. So I've got a green stick, yellow cardstock, and then red. I put it in a flower mold. It didn't really come out the best, but here you go. So the green stick, the yellow cardstock, and then see how you can tell it's a flower, but it's not really the best and it's not perfectly round. So, okay. And then I did her a bunch with paper clips. So let me get these ready. Lined up here. All right. So I had these two ribbons that match in color, and I thought that I think they're so cute together. So it's one paper clip, and I put both of those on there. And I glued them together and made to make sure and glued them on the thing to make sure they would stay real good. Okay. Then I did her a green striped one. Okay. And then I did her this pink and purple and yellow and blue striped one. That one's not going to stay up as well. I probably should glue it, but alright. Then I had some flowers. So I did one in a flower and I've actually got a brad in the middle of it. And you can see that it's got a flower on the front and the back. But that's the back because there's the brad that came out back there. So that's the front. Okay. Then I did one like this. I had a blue paper clip and I had these blue flowers. So I did that. So it's got one on both sides. Okay. It matches. And then I did one. Somebody gifted me a whole bunch of these. And so I just had to try it and use them to make a bookmark for Mama. So here we go. I did a heart and I wrote Mom in the middle. Did some doodling around it. On the back side, I glued another one and it's got. The curly Q doodle with polka dots all around it. 
and it's that's both the strings because it's two different tags so there you go my light's dimming up again the battery is slowly going down okay then I have some bells so I had to do her one with a bell and I just did one bell and glued it on so yeah you see all the glue on the back and um but it does dingle <laughs> okay then I did her one like this so I have her a red one on that side and a green one on that side and you can see it like that so there you go and then I did her one like this and then I did her one like this with the little pink flat gems and then the last one and you can still see the glue around it I did her one like this so it's a pink and a purple one all right so that's that i've got them all in the bag pull it i'm hoping this bag will fit in this envelope it should and then i made her a card now let me show y'all i'm gonna put it in the, em the envelope i'm not gonna seal the envelope just tuck it in but i wrote love you mom my handwriting's not the best okay now this is how I make cards. I don't cut the whole card base out and everything. I like to use a store-bought card that's already, you know, whatever. So I had a blank card and the whole thing, let me see if I can just show you, let me show you the back. The whole thing looks like this on the front, except for on the front right corner where it opens was the word hello okay right there but I covered that up so I got some remember green and red okay and then she likes yellow so I took yellow paper in two different strips they had hearts by them and little white hearts matter of fact I'll show you I hope my camera lasts I really want to show you all this right here so see this paper so I cut the yellow strip out and see, it has the white heart there. Okay, so I put three of them under each other and inside the yellow paper with a red marker on one I put happy, the other I put mother's, the other one I put day, mom. Then I took three red heart gems and stuck them on those white hearts of those papers. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Then at the bottom over that word, hello, I took another card that had a bunch of different kinds of flowers all over it. And I cut one out. It's a green flower, but it's a different green from this. My girls would say, that don't match, it don't go together. But it's both green, but it's different greens. So you can tell them apart, and my mama likes green. And I don't match stuff right, so there you go. So I pop dotted it up on there. Okay. So then when you open it up, I had a wood veneer. It's a sticker. And it's like for school, okay, award type things. It says A plus job well done. So I took a marker. And I wrote, now this is on the right-hand side, when you open the card up, the right-hand side, I wrote at the top, you did Anne. And then I've got that, it's a banner cut, wood veneer, under that that says, A plus job, well done. Then under that, I wrote, as my. And then I got some sticker letters, and I got M-O-M, they're different colors, and I put them catacornered mom. So it says, you did an A plus well done, A plus job well done as my mom. 
And then I took another card that was pink and had some flowers on it, and I cut like a little bouquet of flowers out and pop dotted it up right here. And then I wrote her a note explaining to her about the bookmarks and telling her Happy Mother's Day and that I love her. So that is the card that I made for my mom. And I am going to stick it into this. I think I am. It may not fit. Uh, envelope. I just did get it in there. I'm going to tuck it in. And it says, love you, Mom. And, ooh. Shoot. That is too wide to go in there. OMG. What do y'all think? Will I get that in there? Do y'all think I'll get that in there? Oh, man. I'm trying to get it where it's, I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> Let's see, I don't check things before I do it. I just do it and hope it works and then it don't and then I'm screwed. <laughs> Even if I take the card out of the envelope, it's the card is still too wide to go in there. Unless I bend it just a little and force it. Oh, come on. I need you to go in there. And I don't need to do this on camera. My battery's about to die as it is. Well, 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 well. I'm going to have to work with this. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I was hoping the bag of bookmarks would fit in here. Oh, Lord. They may not even fit either. So I may have to do... I don't know. Maybe I can... I hope that, you know, I was kind of wanting to wrap it with tissue and forgot till just now. And I've done got it slid in there, and that's a tight fit. And I may not get the card in there. I'm going to have to get something else that ain't going to work. See, it's not going to go in there. Why? Oh, well, I'll work with it and figure something out. I'm just going to mail it off tomorrow. So, but I wanted to do a video and show it to y'all, and I did. And you won't see this until after she receives it. So, I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm going to the loo.